Good morning. Um, today is February 18th. It is like nine o'clock. It's a Friday and I'm going to DC today. Um, so that's really exciting. I do have a little bit of like work stuff to accomplish. Um, but I'm going to Katsukan, um, which is like a comic con festival um, with the person that I was seeing, R, Robert. Um, so yeah, we are not dating anymore, um, which was really difficult. Um, but he asked me if I still wanted to be friends and I was crying. And I said, yes, 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 yes. I absolutely still want to be friends. Because like I've been saying this entire time, he literally is such a sweet and kind person. Like literally just a, such a thoughtful and nice person. Um, I just am not myself personally. Like I could not meet his needs basically because I can barely meet my own needs right now. And he wasn't saying, like, he wasn't saying that. You're not meeting my needs. He was always very patient with me. But I wasn't because I would, um, I would just be flip-flopping all the time. Like, one minute I would feel so, like, happy and uh, romantically attracted. And the next minute I, I just wanted to isolate myself. And those were, those moments were happening more and more. Um, like we would make plans and then I would um, want to cancel and like just be, keep changing my mind um, because I just I really just need to heal from a lot of the terrible things that have happened to me and I've I'm always in a relationship I literally always have a boyfriend since I started dating when I was 19 I dated Dominic for two years who wasn't was what it was then my and I had a relationship with my rapist for the next two years. Then I moved to Westchester for graduate school. That's where I met Pete, who I was broken up with like 15 times, no lie. And that's just a topic for another day. And I, we still live together. And then I met um, Robert. So as you can see, like, not the best track record dating wise and since i realized i'm codependent like there is some things some work i need to do internally to make sure that i can be in a healthy relationship and i just don't think i'm in that place yet anyway we did say we're still gonna go to dc so that's really exciting he was like i hope it's not um awkward and i was like i don't think it's gonna be awkward i live with my ex-boyfriend for like a year and a half <laughs> i got this it'll be fine um, and I'm, my, my friend Elizabeth from high school lives down there. So we're going to see her too. Uh, my costume is, I ordered it on Amazon. So it's just like a one piece suit for, for, um, she go from, whoop, she go from Kim Possible. And he worked so hard on his costume. He like sewed it and the, the buttons and he put in a lot more work into his costume than I did mine, but I'm a novice. So I'm taking the easy way and yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I haven't been to DC in years. Uh, I went on the 4th of July, like many, like several years ago with my parents. And I, the whole time I thought I was going to get sh like shot. <laughs> I'm, that's my biggest fear is mass shootings, which I used to say, oh, it's just a phobia. But now it's like a reasonable fear. Honestly, I'm terrified of like mass chaos. And things like that so I don't really love to be in the capital during President's Day but that's probably it's not, nothing it's nothing to worry about no need to worry it'll be fine and uh the the festival Katsukan is like I think it's a little tiny bit outside of DC but I would like to go into DC just because I haven't been there in a while and I think it'll be a nice weekend I haven't traveled in forever so this is gonna be nice um but i don't know what to wear <laughs> i gotta get packing uh, i think we're gonna leave around like three in my head we're leaving at three so i hope we're leaving at three um trying to do my laundry i don't really have any food i like to also clean out the fridge before i like leave 
I don't, I don't really have any groceries, so I don't think I need to do that. I did kind of want to pack up the car a little bit. So I've been packing for my move whenever I feel the motivation to do so. Like, it's been very sporadic. I think I'm going to also start taking things out to my car. So that when the day comes, which is in 10 days, that I won't have to, like, be hauling so much stuff. So maybe I'll t take a t couple things out to the car, pack, do a little bit of work. And um, I'm really ready to go. So let's have a great weekend. Okay, <laughs> um, I just got back from a walk. Um, I had to do a supervision. So if you know social work or mental health or human services at all, then you know what supervision is. But if you don't, then you don't. So supervision is basically just like a conversation with a mentor about your caseload or your work, just how things are going. So I just had an hour long conversation with my person my mentor I guess and it went well we had a good talk I took it I took the phone call on a walk because I I don't really care to talk on the phone when I'm still it's like an uncomfortable feeling um, so I used that time to go on a walk and it's a really nice day it's it's warming up the Sun is shining oh my gosh I'm getting some chicken for a quick bite to eat um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I went to get my ticket for the festival, Katsukan. I can't, I can't even go tonight. I, oh, too long. I waited too long to get my ticket. So, to get it in person, you have to, you have had to pick it up from 9 to 12 today, and I won't, we won't be able to get down there that quickly, so... I'm just gonna have to get a ticket tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow morning and um, go Saturday and Sunday. I can't believe myself sometimes, but it's all right. We're still gonna have a great time. I have another meeting. Um, so that was supervision. This is, I don't know, just, a, I guess training that I have to do on a, a virtual Teams call. So just wanted to tell you how I was doing. Talk to you later. Um, I just went to CVS and I literally got such few things and spent $30. I don't understand. I just wanted to get some makeup for my Shigo costume. So, um, I bought some, I'll just show it to you. How about that? This, I'll be honest. So sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, this kind of an impulse. It's pink glitter notebook. I saw it and I said, if I get that notebook, I'll be organized and things will be better. So I bought it. Oh, got it across the street. Doop. What else? Shigo's colors are, hang on a second, I'll show you better. Shigo's colors are obviously green and black, but I thought I could maybe use this as a base for my eyes because it just seems like really creamy and like it's gonna have a nice bold color. So but I don't want it to be too yellow and kind of like take away from um, her overall look. 
and then I got this. Mostly for that beautiful green color. That's it. That's all I bought. And I spent 37 Oh, wait. That's not all I bought. One more thing. That's really important. Lipstick. Black. So, hopefully this doesn't look horrible. I do like myself with dark colors. Um, but I've never done black. So, we'll see. I'm going to go home and get packed. And, um, maybe play around with some makeup looks. Should I play around with some, with some makeup looks now? Or should I wait till later? I probably should have played around with it before now, but that's fine. Hello. Because I can't even get in tonight. I can't even get into the festival tonight because that's, I missed my chance, but we'll still have two days. And I told Robert that if he wanted to go um, tonight, like on his own, I can definitely entertain myself. Oh, I thought I saw a mouse. It's not a mouse. I'm just so hyper scared of mice now because of my mice situation at home. I think I see mice everywhere. Um, but yeah, I told him if he wants, he can go tonight and I can find something else to do. Cab in the big city with Elizabeth. Um, but we'll see. Um, it's like 1230 now, so I gotta, I gotta get moving. Talk to you later. She only has the top lip, but I can't just wear the top lip. That just looks ridiculous. It looks like I have a mustache. <laughs> she literally only has the top lip black, but this isn't gonna work. I have to do the full mouth. I'm sure. Pretty good for LA girl. LA girl, LA girl. All right, I gotta go pack and stuff. Did I just really want to try this on? I couldn't wait. Oh, what the heck, I might as well try this too. While I'm here. So this is Color Tattoo 24 Hour Cream Eyeshadow. I knew it. I knew it would be good. I think I'll wear contacts too. That's pretty. Might as well do it all. <laughs> I'll just do a little tiny bit. I think I'm gonna go big with the makeup because I didn't do anything to personalize my costume at all, you know? Are, are you supposed to personalize cosplays? I've never done it before. I don't know if the point is to make it your own or to, or to be as close to the character that you're trying to portray. I don't know. But I think I'm gonna do something fun with her makeup because I just bought the costume and I didn't like do anything with it. So I'm using this bright, bright green. This is Revlon Color Static. Ooh. Oh, I love the color. This is awesome. Wow. <laughs> it's 
every once in a while you nail it. Ooh, this is gonna look so cool. And this is just a this is just a trial run. You know, I haven't even looked up any inspo or anything. This looks dope. I should do bold colors more often. Okay, yeah, I'll I think I'm gonna do it do it up not right now though i just wanted to see what it was like oh fun 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 okay i'm gonna try my costume really quick and then pack All right, what are the odds this thing fits me? <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna have to go like way uh, down here maybe. Is that stupid? Why they, people have thighs. It's just not gonna work. sandwich from Jimmy John's and then I looked in the mirror and my lipstick that I had on that black lipstick is literally completely off my lips so that's what $3.99 gets you <laughs> okay we're here we're at our hotel the Hyatt Place, I think it is, and it's pretty nice. I haven't been, um, I haven't like traveled or stayed anywhere in so long, so it's. I feel like it's gonna feel like a little mini vacation. But I'll show you the the room. This is a nice ca couch. Let me switch my um, camera. So. Okay, so a nice little sitting area, which is just so cute, and a beautiful view of the comings and goings. Rob himself. <laughs> In the flesh. And here's our bathroom. Oh, I wish this was my bathroom. I gotta get the lights behind the mirror. I feel like that does a lot for you. I need to get changed because I spilled my unwitch on my shirt. Oh, we gotta check out the shower. Pristine. You know, I used to work at a hotel, so I know first and foremost the dirty, dirty secrets um, of hotels. But anyway, um, I have to get changed because I spilled something on my shirt. And also I I didn't think it was gonna be this cold outside. It's like so cold. I brought a bunch of dresses. Uh, and I just don't think that's gonna happen. So yeah, I'll figure out something else to wear. Um, like I said, I don't have my ticket today. So I guess there's like a club thing that Rob was telling me about, but 
um, you need a badge to get in. So I think we're just gonna like go out to dinner tonight, do some drinks maybe, um, hang out with my friend Elizabeth and jump right into things tomorrow. But I saw some people walking around in costumes and it's just like a cool like energy. I love people in costumes. I love things like that. So I'm so excited and it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so this is what I decided to wear. Um, honestly, I think this shirt is, I got it from Target. Oops, I'm pretty sure that um, the sleeves of this shirt are supposed to actually be like this. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but there's just, there's just no way they will stay up on T because of my small and delicate shoulders. So it is what it is, but it looks cute this way too. And it doesn't matter. I was, I realized I forgot like black stretchy pants is what, what I meant to bring. I forgot to bring them, uh, but the ones I have on are fine. They're just like little leather joggers. So we're just gonna go, I guess, to the convention center, right? The convention center? Robert? Sorry, we're going to the convention center, right? Yep. Yep, convention center. And we're just kind of playing it by ear, so. Oh, and you made me coffee. Whoa, I gotta watch where I'm going. <laughs> And then there's sometimes there's a an open bar area that crops up down here, but they normally oh, okay. have to shut it down first and then reopen it, which is a pain. But there's a lot of cool stuff that's just right in this one area. Very beautiful. Alcohols. Yeah, start with the alcohol, work backward. Tequila sounds okay. <laughs> Nose out. Okay, we just got, well, Robert just got dinner. How's your drink? I can't taste the liquor. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. Well, I can. Mine is strong as hell. Mine's at the bottom. Mine tastes just like tequila. Nice. Mm. And uh, delicious macaroni and cheese and barbecue chicken. Yes, never had this mix before, but it's good. I know. Interesting uh, options. I guess. She's official. chose it and it's um the the name of it is link the kink i don't know why it's called that i do still have my shirt on it just kind of fell a little bit low um but it's like they're playing jeopardy but about like i thought it was like about sex and kink stuff but that's literally like pornography i hate these cups because you can't put them down Anyway, yeah, it's like base. It's like asking trivia, asking you trivia questions about uh, like anime porn, basically. So I don't know any of the answers, clearly. But it is, it's very absurd, and I'm getting a kick out of it. So I'm go back in there. It's wild. 